Hi everyone, welcome to the regression analysis lecture. Um, for this session, we still uh, will be discussing about the uh, criterion for model selection. Uh, previously, we've learned about the R squared criterion and the adjusted R squared criterion. So, uh, for this session, we will uh, be discussing about the CP criterion given by this formula and how are we going to use this criterion in selecting our model. Okay, so we will just see how the CP works, what does it mean and how it works, okay? So here, let me just, um, uh, what is it, um, copy the formula first. So CP is given by the sum squared error P divided by mean squared error K plus 2 times P plus 1 minus N. Okay, so what actually this formula means is that, okay, um, so P and K actually they are like the number of variables used in the model. So in this case, let's say we have like the K is a complete model. So let's say this is our complete model. So complete model that is with all uh, explanatory variables that are provided in this case is k okay and then um, the problem here is that do we really need to use all that k variables or we can just take like a simpler model the simpler model here uh, is that simpler model that we have here is that Okay, we instead of using all k variables, then we will be just using some of them. Let's say just p variables. Okay, so in here, p, we will just be using p variables where p less than k and hopefully much less than k. Okay, so that's our aim in uh, using the CP criteria. Okay, so then what does it mean by the sum squared error P, SSEP, as you can see here, then SSEP is that the sum squared error given by this, but taken from this model using just P variables. While MSAK is that the mean squared error Okay, so if what is the relationship between the sum squared error and the mean squared error? So here we have that the mean squared error is actually just the sum squared error divided by the degrees of freedom. Okay, so which means that which means that here mean squared error k. If I have that <coughs> mean squared error k then it should be from the sum squared error k. Remember that sum squared error k is just the formula in here, but then the yi cap is calculated from this model with k variables. Okay, and then the degrees of freedom is that, remember the degrees of freedom is the sample size minus the number of regression coefficient parameters to be estimated and then since you have the k variables it means that you have k plus one parameters one additional parameter is for the better not the intercept okay so then what can we see from here okay if we try to like if we try to um, el uh, elaborate this formula then let's see, sum squared error P, this is sum squared error, this is the mean squared error, okay, let's just write it in the form of, in the same form, okay, so we can compare them. Let's just, I write it in the form of the mean squared error. So, in that case, if the mean squared error is like this, so I have that mean squared error for the model with K variable, I mean that, so then, I have that for P, 
for p here, I will have it is sum squared error from model with p variables, and then here is p. So then if I have to change this sum squared error p, then it is just the mean squared error p multiplied by that n minus um, p plus 1, right? And then now the problem is that, okay, I just put it like this so we can have a look at the one up here, okay? So then the problem is that if your model is good, which one? Which model is good? So remember our main problem in here is that we have this model, but then we want to make a simpler one yet with the same performance at the complete as the complete model but we want it to be simpler simple we mean by less variables to be included in the model so instead of using k we will be using p variables okay but we want the performance to be the same then we can measure the performance through error so then okay if the simpler model is good we prefer the model with p variables then it should be like the error okay the model for performance from the simpler can represent the performance from the complete model so we expect that the mean squared error from a complete model or from a simpler model is as close as possible to the mean squared error for the uh, complete model so in that case we can just have this and this cancel out I mean that the ratio becomes one right and then so that's only here left okay I'll just put it one here okay and then now we can just uh, make this um, expression simpler so here we have n and we have n in here so they cancel out okay here they cancel out and then here we have 2p plus 1, here we have p plus 1. So the resulting one is the, the p plus 1. Okay, so that's what we get if, with the condition, if the simpler model performance is uh, close to the complete model's performance, which means that the CP criterion is, um, is that... Um, the model is good if the CP criterion, if the CP is as close as possible with the P plus 1. So how are we going to use this? For example, like, okay, if you choose a model, if you fit a model with five variables, five predictor variables, and then the CP is six, then it might be an indication that model with five variables uh, variables is um, a good fit to your um, data okay and then um, this is not the only way to use the CP as you can see from here okay so we can see that um, this number here mean squared error k where's the k so remember the what is it our um, uh, discussion in the R adjusted, okay, where the R adjusted is like uh, the MSE criteria, and then we know that this is kind of like uh, related to the R squared, and then the R squared is that you know you put more variables, you force the R squared to keep increase. So in this case, I mean that the complete model, the uh, what is it? A complete model will have a better fit uh, compared to the simpler model. Uh, and that is, that better fit is, you know, represented by a smaller value of mean squared error. Okay, so then mean squared error for k, okay, k variable here. And then uh, in here, this is the sum squared error for the, uh, what is it, the simpler model. If, you know, the better the model here, 
then the error should be getting smaller and smaller and smaller, right? So in that case, if the model with k variable, or sorry, with p variable is good, is a good fit to our data, then we will expect that the sum squared error p here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and then at some point that will close to the sum squared error for the k because this is the smallest one uh, because it's from the full or the complete model so in other words we can say that if we compare the sum squared error p with the mean squared error k k or or you can just um, change it into the mean squared error but just following this formula then we can say that you know uh, what is it Rel relative uh, comparison with other options of p of course then we can say that the smaller value of cp because you know if p is good then some squared error will be smaller and then so this whole thing also will be small Okay, so uh, what is it? We want it that CP, a smaller value of CP is also an indication of a good model. Or just like uh, what we've shown here before, CP close to P plus 1, that's an indication of a good model as well. Okay, so that's how we use the CP criterion in selecting our model so you can fit just several models with p variables where p less than k and then calculate the cp see if the cp is a small enough compared to the cp cp from other model then the model that with the small cp with the smaller cp is a better fit or you can also look at the value of the cp whether it is close to p plus one or not so the value close to p plus one also gives us an indication of a good model okay so that's our third criterion in uh, selecting a regression model um, that fits uh, to the data